These two guys make for an odd couple. The starfish is a menace for fishermen, but researchers have found a way to turn it into health product. And that's got dogs' tails wagging. NHK World's Toshiyuki Otaka explains. Unloading a cat. Scallops are one of Hokkaido's most famous seafood delicacies. The shells are gathered from along Hokkaido's northern coast in the Sea of Okotsk. Something else arrives on the docks. These are starfish. Scallops are their favorite food. So they get caught in the net along with their prey. Every year, 15,000 tons of starfish are brought ashore in the prefecture. It's not an easy job disposing of all the unwanted catch. A local fisheries cooperative has been using the starfish to make fertilizer, but it's costing the co-op about $65,000 a year, a burden they would like to unload. For us, starfish are pests. I wish we could make effective use of them. Sandworms and serpent starfish eat organic matter in the mud. Through these creatures, radioactive substances are passed on to bigger fish. It takes a long time for that to happen. That's why high levels of cesium are still found in the fish. Research is now underway to find a solution. Shingo Aso works at the Fisheries Institute in Kushiro City. He is trying to crack the starfish problem in the joint project with Hokkaido University. The team is focusing its efforts on the creature's sick skin. First, they mix the skin with an enzyme. Then, the solution is heated to around 50 degrees Celsius. This allows them to extract a special compound. The compound is called starfish collagen peptide. And this is where things get interesting. The concentration of radioactive substances in serpent starfish last month was only one-tenth of what it was in the first survey. Radioactivity in sandworms decreased only 40 percent. Professor Ishimaru says many kinds of fish feed on sandworms, so the contamination is likely to affect marine life for some time to come. The radioactive substance may have a long time effect across a wide area. Professor Takashi Ishimaru of Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology studies marine biology. He's looked at fish off Fukushima. They eat sandworm and starfish near the sea floor that are contaminated by radioactive substances. Ishimaru conducted his first survey in the area four months ago. He found low levels of cesium in serpent starfish and in sandworms. Larger fish eat those creatures. Ishimaru says the concentration of radioactive substances rises tenfold inside the fish and exceeds the legal limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram. The researchers fed the peptide to dogs and cats with their meals. They found that it lowered glucose levels in the blood. In the case of the dogs, the level was down about 40%. The blood sugar level of dogs dropped remarkably after taking the peptide. We think we can produce a pet supplement on a commercial basis. How far do you think the contamination will spread? But that raises an important question. Is there any demand for a supplement that controls the blood sugar levels of pets? The answer seems to be yes. It turns out obesity has become a serious issue for Japanese pets. A recent survey reveals that about half of small dogs have weight problems. On the other hand, the concentration of radioactive materials included in the seawater extracted right near the nuclear power plant had been very high immediately after the accident. Like some of their owners, dogs are getting too much food and not enough exercise. All these animals are at risk of developing diabetes. Hmm. Your dog is putting on too much fat around the waist. 
I'm afraid he needs to get in shape. But as the time passed, the materials apparently dissipated offshore, and it is no longer detectable. If diabetes is allowed to progress, the animals can develop potentially fatal conditions. Diet control and proper exercise are the keys to staying healthy. If the starfish compound can lower the blood sugar level, then I think it could be a good idea to give it to pets regularly. That will allow us to stop their blood sugar level from rising. A simulation carried out by a Japanese research institution showed that the seawater contaminated with radioactive substances that spread offshore will reach the international dateline 4,000 kilometers east of the Fukushima plant by April next year. For now, starfish remain a sticky problem for the fishing industry. But the research is promising. If the peptide can be commercialized, Overweight pet may get a new lease on life. Scientists say contaminated water will then move to the sea north of Hawaii three years later and to the west coast of the United States five years later. Toshiki Otaka, NHK World, Hokkaido. Pets may not be the only ones to benefit. The Kushiro Institute plans to team up with other research organizations to see if their findings can be applied to humans.